Hello everybody, I'm Jims McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo, and welcome to Hell in a Cell. That's right, we have had a rough and tumble week leading up to the, one of the most brutal pay-per-views in JFW history, even though we've never actually run a Hell in a Cell before we know what we're going to get out of it. And we are getting a heck of a starting match. Breaking news, the... The battle royal that we were told would claim the careers of seven out of eight competitors has been upgraded to a 10-man Royal Rumble. Mr. Jim McMahon on Friday night telling us everyone who can't win this match is fired. He's looking to clear out the dregs of the JFW. We don't know who's going to be in it. We were told that one man... Dave was going to, so good luck to Dave. Can he keep his career a fan favorite? But he's going to be joined by nine other men trying to keep their livelihoods intact. Going to be a absolutely incredible starting match. I don't know what to think of this one, Jim. It is shocking. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting as well. And, of course, we won't know who's in it. So each time... That, that uh, timer reaches zero, it'll be a new combatant. We won't know who it's co who's coming. It's going to be incredible. Absolutely. All right. And next up, the extra arms belt champion, Table Leg Wanger. Uh, <laughs> he's cashed in two money in the bank somehow and ended up <laughs> finally hitting pay dirt by cashing in on a very crippled Jimmy Min-Max-Tastic in his hop hospital bed. Uh, <laughs> And now he's getting Frost Lord in, hell, in an extreme rules match at Hell in a Cell. Uh, interesting choice. We thought for sure that it was going to be Crusher who won that match over, over um, Fault Force a few days ago on Monday Night Claw. But here it is. Mighty AF member Frost Lord gets the nod. We recently seeing a lot of love between Mighty AF and Mr. Jim McMahon. Could we be seeing the ascension of new chosen ones by Jim McMahon himself? Who knows? All we know is Table Leg Wanger is going to have his hands full in this Extreme Rules match against Frostlord. Yeah, tragi tragic not seeing Crusher. Uh, that's very strange, isn't it? Very strange going on backstage, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a bit of, bit of politicking going on. But next up... Handicap two on three, Hell in a Cell match coming at you. The Norse Canuts, Space Cadet and Mora Plovach versus the crew that CR, capital E, W, E. Space Cadet getting furious and frustrated with all these snipes by Dio in the last few weeks. Came out on Friday, called them out, said, you know what? I don't care about the numbers. I don't think you can hang with me when you got to face me from the front and you're not getting away because we're doing it in a cell. So we're going to get the Norse Canucks versus the crew. That's C-R, capital E-W-E. Two on three handicap match, Jim. What do you think of this one? I'm the happiest I am that you said the uh, the that new tag team name correctly. <laughs> so, yes, <it's>... both times. <laughs> yeah, both times. <laughs> Unbelievable. And yes, that All that's right. going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Moving on, the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship match. It's Ansi versus Muppet. No, it's not. It's just Joe. He was given the nod at Tony Plays Poorly's behest to get a title shot on Friday night, caught Muppet Pac-Man off guard, won the title, and now it's him who will be facing Ansi. Extreme Rules match one-on-one -on -one for the Plim Plom Pluserweight title. And if you have not seen the look of shock and disdain on Muppet Pac-Man's face at everything that played out, you need to head back and watch the replay because... He was not a happy camper after that main event, but he is out of this match, and it's going to be Ansi versus Just Joe for the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship. Yeah, that will be incredible, won't it? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, Jim, here we go. A heartfelt call-out by Extra Arms Bot on Monday. Night Claw calling out his father creator, as he says, Bezel trying to get him to come back to the light, saying that the demon Rick, the demon prince Rick Reckless has been in his head. That's your chaos chosen champion. And Bezel having none of it. 
and accepting terms once EAB knew that Bezel had fallen too far, decides to end it all in Hell in a Cell to, uh, Sunday night, 8 p.m. UTC, one of the most emotional matches we'll ever have in the JFW. Extra Arms Bot versus Bezel, Bezel for his naked soul, as Extra Arms Bot said. <laughs> Oh, boy, I don't know how to handle this one, Jim. I'm going to have tears in my eyes calling this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be something, isn't it? That's that's the peak emotions right there. <laughs> and here you go. We've, well, we've been talking about it. Certainly Lemon is Good has been talking about it. <laughs> Dress for Business versus Satterfield and J5, the heart and soul of the JFW, the unnatural snackers, uh, two-on-two -two extreme rules. You cannot get any more pure than this one. Won't be any double countouts or countouts, so dress for business, have a real shot in this one. We've That's the only way we've really seen them fall off before, and this is <laughs> it. These two teams have been the top of the best division in all of wrestling the jfw tag division dress for business say what you will about them they have earned their spot and they need to prove tonight that they are worthy of the two heads championship belts and if they want to do that they're going to have to go through satterfield and j5 and those guys always come to party and i'm sure they're going to load up on their carbs and get out there this is my pick for match of the night jim yeah, it's going to be incredible, but it might be top by the main event. Oh, and here you go. Main event. Good Lord. It's Flicky Flack in the main event. Tony plays poorly, defending his world championship in Hell in a Cell. You know, Flicky Flack a few weeks ago on the pre-show wank of... Our last pay-per-view, calling his shot, saying he's going to be the next JFW world champion. Well, he has earned that right. He went through the division and came out on top. And I got to say, as much shit as we give him during his entrance and as much shit as we give him on the mic, he is a hell of an in-ring competitor. Put on just an absolute show on Friday night, stand firm and is going to have to do it again. He's going to have to dig deep because big match Tony plays poorly. He only gives up sometimes, and when he doesn't, he almost always wins, Jim. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was a completely dominating performance from Flicky Flack. Incredible. And, yeah, will he be able to replicate it versus Tony? Well, we're going to find out 8 p.m. UTC right here on Twitch or go over to Twitch if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> Look for Jimmy Fantastic. And if you need to get caught up on any of the action leading up to this, you just got to go to JimmyFantastic.com or hit that search button on YouTube and type in Jimmy Fantastic. You'll find all of your JFW action right there. Do not miss out. 8 p.m. UTC, Sunday, August 30th. From St. Peter's Flor St. Petersburg, Florida, it is JFW Hell in a Cell. My name's Gorilla Metal. I will be there, and I cannot wait to see you all. Thank you, as always, for having me, Jim. So I'll see you tomorrow night. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.